What is the purpose of the thoracic spine? And I guess is it T1 to T12 is the thoracic spine? What is its real purpose? You got it. So look, it's a conduit that maintains stability. There is some flexibility, there is some motion, um, but in, in terms of uh, what I see, the thoracic spine is a source of some significant morbidity. Mm -hmm. For example, <coughs> compression fractures, which we see in the elderly, and we'll discuss further. Uh, compression fractures frequently occur in the thoracic spine and can cause terrific middle back pain. The aorta, the aorta is the biggest blood vessels in the body and it's sitting right in front of the spine. That can produce pain in the mid back and we'll refer to that as well. Okay, so now we did a little what we call spine 101. Mm -hmm. um, if we have still, if we have an unbearable pain in our thoracic spine, that's that mid back that uh, Dr. Gosha was just pointing out, this could be a problem from this poor posture or pulled muscle. Is that right? Is that what we're looking at, doctor? It could be, but that's another rare one. The reality is that because there isn't that much flexibility to the thoracic spine, mm -hmm. your posture. Uh, may come from the thoracic kyphosis, but for example, that age old concern that the kid is slouching mm -hmm. and will develop deformity is not true. The thoracic spine has great stability, and whether you slouch, you sit forwards, or you wear a backpack on one side, we actually have great studies that attest to this. That will not result in further deformity. Okay. There's a lot of misinformation when it comes to the mid back.